What's in that thing? Filament. The same lethal dose I used on the others. What? What are you doing in my house? I, I followed her. I saw her trying to break in. Would you please call an ambulance? And hurry. This woman's poisoned me. You didn't follow her here, Justin. You came here to kill me. What? What are you saying? Maggie told me you were her killer just before she died. I realize now that she'd begun to suspect someone who was systematically swindling her out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. We did some checking, Mr. Haynes. Her late husband set up a trust agreement for Mrs. Saunders. That trust threw off $30,000 a month, only there was never more than 10000 that ever showed up in her checking account. When I arrived to see her the day she died, she was in the middle of a disturbing phone call. Don't say things like that. We'll just stop it right now. Just stop it. Rather than talk about it, she asked me to bake her a cake. Well, do you remember where I kept the recipe? Mm-hmm. I haven't made one for years, but if that's what you want, I'll have another go at it. Now, it seemed very odd then, but what I realized now was that she was really saying, look in my kitchen cooking files, where I found the trust agreement and her checkbook. Sheriff, Sheriff, none of that has anything to do with me. None of this. Dr. Haslick, please, I beg of you, do something. This woman has poisoned me. Maggie wrote a check for over $15,000 to buy Dory a piano. It came as a real shock to her when that check bounced. She must have started looking into her back balances. She discovered the discrepancies and called you on them. Face it, Mr. Haynes, this syringe is the only evidence we're really gonna need. All right, all right, all right. I, it was too late to cover up what I'd done. I had to kill her. And my mother's suspicions about my grandfather's death gave me the idea. Now, doctor, please, I beg of you. I, 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 I can't keep my eyes open. I'm fading here. Nonsense. You're suffering from nothing more than your own guilt. I filled the hypodemic myself with distilled water. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait. But you, you said she told you that I killed her before she died. That's right, Justin. It was probably her final act, pointing to the heading of the chapter I'd read to her earlier that day and the title that described you, the money changer. Maggie Saunders was a very determined lady.